not known And maybe we'd have got a vodka lemonade We show the cool kids how to be the youth of today We jump the fence and play in the Mr. Grogan's pool Hit call the police and we hide behind the school We spend hours throwing stones into the sea They were the best, they saw my life, I promise thee Oh, I could be a saint while you would be the sinner My mother used to frown when I'd invite you home for dinner Oh, my darling, how I miss you to the day I'd give my everything to see your face again I've written tons of letters and they'd ended in the trash Oh my darling, how I miss you to the day I'd give my everything to see your face again, oh my friend Father got a job in the Empire State. Oh, how I wish you stood your ground and stayed behind. I've loved and I've lost, but you made me feel alive. I guess you got a job, a life, and a family. But I promise my heart will always have a place for thee. Oh, I could be a saint while you would be the sinner. My mother used to frown when I'd invite you home for dinner. Oh, my darling, how I miss you to the day. I'd give my everything to see your face again Oh, I'm so sorry I've been distant in the past I've written tons of letters and they'd ended in the trash Oh, my darling, how I miss you to the day I'd give my everything to see your face again, oh, my friend
love came in and thawed my heart After a winter so cold it left me frozen in summer You sang a song that unraveled me The melody was enough to rewrite my story There's no place I would rather be Than in the light of your sun it changes everything There's no face I would rather see You pull me up from the dust and you redefine me I would rather see 
Traveling to Volskaya. Hey guys, welcome to the OWC. I am More Games, and with me is Paul. Hello. Uh, this match today is between uh, Z9 and Nameless. And it looks okay. like we're going right into Volskaya right now. There seems to be a little issue in the chat right now. I'm confusing with full sky being banned. Now entering the temple. There we go. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to Anubis now. <laughs> guess not. Oh, uh, Volskaya. It's Anubis, it seems. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Well, that's fine. It looks like Z9 is picking their comp. Nameless still seems to be discussing things. Let's see if let's see if Nameless goes with a Widowmaker as well or a Hanzo. It could be, and it does seem like Major Shadow does go for the Widowmaker, so there will be a Widow battle. However, Premium is on Hanzo, so that would be good for a shield break against uh, Raze. And it looks like neither team is going to go for the Brigida, which is unexpected considering how strong she is in the meta right now. Yeah, very interesting. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Of course, Z9 will have the combo of uh, Zarya, Grav, and of course, Hanzo Dragons, which can still kill during transcendence from the R team if all teamers are still swinging and killing the R team. Exactly, yeah, it's a scary combo. It to go up against. Does switch, and there is a pause. There's a pause. <laughs> right before the action, let's go. Uh, the scariest part about Hanzo Dragon is that if it's damage boosted, then it kills right through trans. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Unless you stack Lucio and trans. Looks like... Byronimo has... An issue with the FPS. Hopefully, he'll be right back. Maybe it can't crash. And we just swapped the Briga, so there will be no trans for the for Z9 anymore. But that shouldn't be a huge issue, as there will be a, a Hansa wipe graviton for uh, Nameless. Uh, and it looks like with Nameless, anyways, they look like to be going with a Arissa Hog comp, which is very strong. Lots of shield break, and once that shield goes down, everyone's vulnerable to that combo, that insta-kill potential combo with the Roadhog hook. But, uh, if they can just go through, get a few picks, uh, Z9, if they can go through, get a few picks, then, uh, then they should have an easy run onto point A. And they are actually running a Brigida now, it seems. Yeah, if Thick gets the if Thick gets the early pick a major shot, that'll be huge for their team. They can just push right in. Myberry would po possibly go for the res, and that's a lot of healing gone for Nameless. So exactly, Red Team yeah. can just kill all the other members on their team. Especially with the uh, double sniper with the immobile Arisa shield. It won't be too difficult to get that pick, pick off, but they, their one problem is they won't have that much shield break, other than maybe Hanzo's storm arrow. Back in. And it looks like, yeah, it has resumed, Byron and round one of the Anubis will start. Byron will go Pharah, and then we have, uh, Z9 has a double sniper, so this should be easily picking for them. Let's see if they can get the early pick on Widow, and they shall actually wow. pick in the process. So that'll be a, 
Either Kirimi has to resist or they just have to have a full reset. And then Kirimi gets killed. Oh, maybe the Shadow picks off the Mercy as well. This Huge pick. This is a big reset for. They have to reset, yes. I can make. Wait, hold on. Prima oh, actually gets like... to kill him by around them all. Now. So I, they can push him with that. Carry me can't risk that. Now Z and I will push in with Infamous and Infamous taking the front line. Mercy. Now think it's think it's both supports of Z and Mercy. This should be a, That is um, absolutely fight. massive. Brigida cancels Roadhog's hook. That shield bash ever so balanced of an ability. That looks like Z9 will take point eight. Oh, Premium does have his Hansel ult. However, they don't have grab. With Hansel, it's still powerful without grab. And they have no trains to block it at all, or Mercy ult. That's true. It is a lot, a large zoning area with that dragon. Can clear off most of the point. Here we go with the blow bow, bow again. <laughs> Thick wins it, of course. Gets res right back up, however. But that's a lot of spot healing gone during that time period. Now Red Team will just push in, and Prima gets another pick on the tank. There's no Zen for uh, Nameless. However, Major Shadow does pick up a kill on Thick. Oh, and a Shatter hits the Hog. Mercy can't run anywhere from that. Prima gets the 3 keg. They have no healing. There's no one on the point. Let's see if they can back, get back in time, just for contesting. Looks like they... Oh, that counter charge. That was huge. Cancelled the overtime. C9 takes round one very, very quickly. Little hiccup at the beginning. But Overall, pretty, they got there. Yeah, pretty flawless play. Pretty dominant so far. Now we'll have Nameless on the tank. Main reason that Z9 was able to win that so fast is just Thick was able to pick off Major Shadow very quick in the Widow battle. That's and true, then, that's true. With no one contesting Thick, he could just shoot at the uh, everyone else and then get kills on their hero, uh, healers, and then everyone else just fell. Yeah. Without the uh, the Widow on the other team, with the team comp that Nameless was running, uh, Thick didn't really have any other person to worry about there, so he could just go, go off, basically. Seems like the same, it'll be the same comp for Z9. However, Nameless will keep their Pharah, swap off Arisa to Ryan, and then go with their Hanzo instead of a Widow, and then no Hog for Zarya. Pharah seems like an odd choice, especially for the double sniper and how well Thick has been performing this game. It doesn't seem like the smartest idea. I... It might be possibly Let's... back on Major Shadow trying to get the pick on the Widow or the Hanzo. It's true, yeah, that's trying true. To push him. But Nameless, once again, is out running the Gita. It seems to work out for Xenite very well with the stun and then Reinhardt going in. Yes, it worked incredibly well for them. Alright, uh, Nameless's attack is starting. See how well they do. They can surprising, surprising compete far, with. Thick is very far up. Gain damage boosted by Karami, of course. Trying to contest the widow as Farah. Not, not the most common use for her. And Farah knocks the Reinhardt off, but Thick does take the Farah. Oh, they get infamous though. They trade Rezes. Thick is out position. Even six six. Oh, Thick gets pinned. Big charge, big pin. Both snipers are down for, for Z9. Fire on the Mo should be able to up go in right now. Fire on the Mo has very little to worry about here. But Infamous picks off my very that's a huge pick. That's a lot of healing gone for Nameless. Without the Widow alive though, the Ferret can just wreak havoc on the other team. It's a big problem for uh, C9 at the moment. Premium does come back and kills by our animal. Now Nameless has to back up. They don't have their mercy and they don't have their fair anymore. Premium looking for a stagger in the Zen or the Reinhardt. That'd be. Mercy does come back. Hanzo coming through. 
from me, Trishel. Doesn't get anyone, just charges the Zarya. Oh, Premium's very close to Dragons and Gold Panda is very close to grab. This could be a whole team like for the next push. Shorty Cod does have his uh, trance soon, but that won't be able to block all the damage from it. Mage Shadow picks off thick, that's very big. Byron Mo only has to worry about Premium now. However, Golden Panda responds by killing Major Shadow. Byron Mo gets shut down by Premium oh, while he's the barrage. Big shutdown on that on that barrage there. They keep trading, they trade Rhines. Premium just going in right now. Z9 is up by one, now they're up by two. Going for that res, doesn't get it, get knocked. It's not They have no supports, and it looks... And then yes, they have gonna have to reset this. Just over two minutes down on their attack, and they haven't even hardly touched the point. This isn't looking too good for Nameless at the moment. Early rally just to get everyone armor, and that'll be very good. Yeah, that extra... That extra 150 armor for everybody on their team is uh, goes a long way. Byron will does swap on the Vanner finally and goes to Tracer. Smart. Smart idea. And a big grab, 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 grab dragon. dragon. It should be able to kill through. Kills yep. everyone. With the assistance of the Rhine Fire Strike, managed to kill through the trans. That was a very that was a very good fight for Z9 in two ways. They eliminated their whole team, and plus they got the trans out. That's true, that's true. Although, yeah, Nameless does have a Shatter and a Dragon, which can work, not as well as Grav, obviously. Oh, Major Shadow picks up Stick. Big pick. Let's see if Karimi reses that. Stick swaps the Soldier now. Kind of odd. Here comes the Dragons. From Major Dragons Shadow. from behind. Infamous falls, however, but Premium kills Major Big Shatter. It's Brigida and... Sorry. Ray's going in right now. Nameless should over. take this point now. Everyone, See if the dragons Dragon pick anything coming. up. Gets nothing. Thick however it gets by Animal. They got a tick. Looks like it will be pushed into overtime. Or maybe not. Yes, it definitely will be. Z9 is contesting, but and that's a big, that's a big shatter, shatter. Big shatter. Grav, it's two. Mercy yeah, reses again. Looks like it's going. This fight's going in Xenon's favor at the moment. Just Major Shadow and carry me on the point by themselves. My my raid falls, and then there goes Major Shadow. And they'll fall, and that should be it. And it looks like yes, Z9 has won Anubis. Two to very, zero. Very convincing win. Very convincing. Kind of want to know the thought process going on from Nameless with running the Pharah once again on attack after they knew that um, yeah. Z9 was running double sniper. And they ran her for at least two minutes through the map uh, while they should have switched off almost immediately seeing the double sniper on the other team. And it looks like we're going into Escort next. Uh, Z9 gets to... We need to... Ban. Z9 gets to ban a map of their choice, while Nameless gets to choose the remaining three. There will be a sub coming in for Z9. And um, we'll we'll get our analyzer blades to come in here and explain his uh, what he thought about Anubis. So I thought it was a very dominant performance from Z9 there. Nameless had the wrong comp going in there. They should not have run Afara at all the whole entire time. She was having no value at all, getting shut down really hard by the Widowmaker and Z9. Nameless also did not do a good job with dealing with Widowmaker because on point A of attack, uh, Widowmaker got a 3k and they just soon rolled point. 
And from there, they just catapulted and took second really fast as well, because they got staggered. Yeah, and they had so much there. momentum going to yeah. there. Yeah. And on attack there, uh, Nameless ran far, far again, didn't do much value. Or, or when they got picks, they never collapsed on them, and they just let the let the Z9 come back with all their with all their team and hold them back. So that was very winnable for Nameless, but they didn't never collapse on picks. And they should have run Farah or run a Tracer. They should have played uh, triple support with Hanzo and just got a grab and then use that Hanzo. Yeah, I agree completely. Right. And the uh, subs look like they have come come in, so we're just waiting for Z9 to pick the map they wish to ban. In this, I don't know what the map is next. Okay, so Junker Town. Uh, Junker Town. C9 has banned Junker Town, yeah, so the Nameless cannot choose them. So I need to see the map before I can say anything. Uh, for the strat that Nameless ran, I feel like. Route 66 would be the best map. Oh, but it looks like they've chosen Dorado, which can be pretty good for Fair, but it alternatively is also a decent Widow map on the second point, anyways. Z9, however, did sub out Thick, who was, who was basically carrying them with the Widowmaker. That's so true. Z9, Z9 did sub out Thick, which was their Widow last time. So. I think Nameless, their win condition here is they should play Dive with Farah and Widowmaker and collapse yeah. when they get picks. Yeah. Or try to kill the other Widow. Yeah, they have to push in with the picks. I do not think they should play Death Ball because I think Z9, Z9's Death Ball is really strong. Yeah, that's true. And it's uh, with the Death Ball, it's a lot easier to get everyone with that Grav Dragon. With Dive, uh, there's more of a chance that you only get two or three, uh, which of course isn't as as bad as the whole team. Um, for Dorado, the first point is, can be tricky to push into if the uh, defenders know what they're doing. Uh, and it looks like, I think, Z9 is going to defend first, so Nameless gets the attack. Oh, is there another sub coming in? Name, Nameless is subbing someone in at the moment. And both captains seem to be ready, so should be going into Dorado pretty quickly. For first points, mainly who wins the shield battle at the choke. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, if one team just has more shield break, then they simply will win. Unless well, the uh, the other team pops off or something like that. On first point defense, it's really good for a dive. Because you could sit near, near the spawn and just collapse on them if they're playing death ball. It looks like well, Nameless is... Or, sorry, uh, Z9 is going for the triple support. Zen, Mercy, Yukita. Zarya and Ryan. They'll most likely run their Hanzo again for the combo that they were doing last match. Possibly, Junkrat's yes. also Junkrat's not a bad pick here, breaking shield very fast, and they all can just although, kill the rest of the team. Although knowing that Nameless likes to run the fair though, it would probably be a better idea to yeah, pick the Hanzo, which they had. Let's see what Shorty card picks here. Going with Lucio. Lucio. Double no, double main support. 
Might be for the speed boost that the star just get them out faster, but the cards are just out there. That's true. The problem with double main support is that the without the Zen, there they would be lacking uh, a bit of damage that the other team would have over top. Attackers incoming in so, it, yes, it, it looks like that uh, Nameless is going to go with what our analyst had recommended with a dive with a Pharah and a Widow just to get onto high ground easily. And uh, Z9 is going with triple support. Brigitte can be very strong here when diving in with Winston. She can just stun him and then it just, and then um, they are, yes. the rest of their teammates can just fall on him. And then that he'll die true. very quick. It's very... Oh! Major Shadow picks off the the uh, Zen instantly, though. That's a huge pick. They have to res it. And, and Lucio did boop the Reinhardt off high ground. Jeremy does not go for the res, so they lose their Zen. That's a big pick. They still have two healers, however. Byron will go in for the little flank. See if he can get anyone. Some AT poke damage. And here comes the shield bow. Infamous is going in a bit. Resting his shield. Raze does drop his bubble. So right now Xenon does have more of the shield, so they have a little oh, bit of an advantage. Here. Premium does take out uh both of Nameless' supports are dead, so they have to reset this. Baronimo going on some sort of crazy flank gets taken out. That's a huge stagger. Infamous has already built up a shatter at this point. And then Shorty Card now swaps to the Zen instead of the Lucio. Stoner are going in. Seems like Nameless is diving onto the top. They're just poking out for some easy damage. They're not pushing the. Oh, they have one in cart. Major Child hasn't been able to find anything yet. He's in the problem so far that uh, the problem so far that I've seen with Nameless's gameplay is that they are they just standing at the choke with the dive comp while they have to dive through. But it gets looks right back up, and then Premium oh, takes out both tanks. Huge dragon, huge. Both Valks came out, but Carry Me wins the the Valk duel. Fair is still alive. It's a big stagger. Major Shroud did get a big pick on the Zen, but got immediately shut down by Premium. They do have both of their DPS ults as uh, Z9. Hopefully, looking for huge kill. The Widow Sight's going up, telling everyone where the other team are. Premium shuts them down right away. Premium still wins the sniper duel. Oh, that's a big shot again. Both tanks down. Diva Bomb comes out. Gets no one. Gets no one. Okay, he's pushing up very by himself once again. Very far up. Byronimo looking for oh. a barrage to kill, and he gets one. Does kill one. the Zen, which is huge. Both of, Z, uh, both of Z9's supports are dead right now, so this is an optimal mo moment for them to push. Raider Shroud did swap up Widow for Junkrat. It Probably looks like the, Nameless... The it looks like Z9 is gonna uh, regroup here and are able to hold that. But it does look like, and it does look like Z9 has the Grav Dragon combo that could just end this match, end this uh, round, as right now. Nameless yeah, has no trans to block out. It's going for the, the flank dragon. Hits three people, and that'll kill them all. There goes the whole team. And it looks like Nameless will get an easy hold first point on Dorado. Another Z9, very dominant performance. With C9 barely able to push past the choke. But no, not much luck afterwards. Zero. Zero. 
And uh, now we get to see Nameless's attack. Maybe Z9 can hold them. I've seen it happen before in ranked games on the ladder. But I'm not sure if Nameless will be able to hold Z9. All they really? have to do is get all they have to do is get one big combo and then and they win the map. It really did come down to that shield battle. With Winston, you only have an 800, 800 shield, I believe. And then I believe yeah. it's 800, 900. 800, 900. And that's on a very long cooldown. However, with Ryan, he has a 2000 shield that can recharge at any time when he puts it down. And they really did not break the shield at all. Or exactly. really make an attempt exactly. to. Baird was look, looking for more poke damage around healers. And then Major Shadow on a big flank to try to kill, kill their supports, but then got shut down by premium. Exactly. What uh, what Z9 or Nameless had to do with their dive pump that they have, they had to actually dive, maybe go up high ground and around behind that uh, common widow flank, or go up top left maybe. But they had to dive something, but they, and they weren't. So the Winston Diva just was not working out. Will we get to see Kirami play Symmetra? Probably not, but. No, so. And it looks like Nameless is running a May, which can be, which can work quite well on this point actually. Uh, with that, with the wall going up, separating the team, especially, and the Reaper to uh, throw in that damage to that to the trap teammates. Z9 going back with their double sniper, Byron learning his mistakes and not winning Farah. You have to push it right around the corner and they should be able to cap it. Carry me gets a huge pick up on the Mercy. That's a lot of healing gone for Nameless. And they all get anti as well. C9's pushing in very fast. Uh, it looks like... Carry me does die on that brick guy, which is a big pick. It's trading yeah, right even now. now four, four. However, Riz goes down there. That's a lot of shield gone. A lot of space gone as well. His shield does break. Freeman kills him. And Freeman's coming back soon. And Freeman's almost has a shatter. Going Panda also almost has a grab. They should be able to win this. When it is, looks like C9 will be able to win this. No one can contest. Very quickly, no one to be able to contest on Nameless's side. They get the easy win, one to zero on Dorado. Now, and now Z9 is up two to zero, two to zero over Nameless. And I believe the next type of map is Control, which. Uh, Brings in a different type of gameplay, I would say, that focuses more on uh, personal skill rather than uh, teamwork, which is obviously still important. Uh, and now we'll bring in our analyst again and see what he had to say about uh, Dorado. So, Nameless, they played, they played the right cop on attack, they didn't play it out correctly, they didn't hold W. And they should have dropped a Lucio and had a Zenyatta instead and keep Zenyatta on cart. They shouldn't dive their back line. They did not do that. They just held at, held at Choke where they just lost to the death ball every single time. And while they did get picks because they, because they didn't collapse on them, they would always lose the fights. And so they just got held there. And on attack, Z9 just got picks and they had spawn advantage and they just won the game. Even though they were playing very, very similar comps. Very convincingly as well. I think May Reaper was an interesting choice there. They should not have run that. They should have ran a Junkrat or Hanzo. Yeah, definitely a Junkrat. Triple support. Because of that, they lost. All right. Um, and it looks like Z9 has banned Ilios for the control map. So we could wait. We'll wait on what nameless picks for their control map. Oh, Either Li Zhang, Nepal, or Sis. Uh, 
If I was nameless, I would, I would have picked Oasis because it's a very strong uh, fair map. Yet Widow is also is not the best on Oasis. Can work, but not usually. But it looks like nameless is going for Nepal, which uh, can work for Farah, but obviously can also work for Widow as well. Uh, in order for uh, for Nameless to pick this up and keep the series going, I think they'll have to uh, they'll have to run some sort of dive comp, but be decisive with their dives. Jump on the back line, press W, and hopefully they should make at least Oasis or Nepal. Sorry, be a good map to watch. So far, Z9 has been playing very dominantly. I'd say this map in particular is in Z9's favor. Yes, Farah is the other than most maps, but Sanctum, Widowmaker really shines on there. And that's plus, true, that's true. plus Premium has been playing very well in the Hanzo, showing down by Ronimo. So we'll see if they keep running the Pharaoh. We're going right in. Traveling to Nepal. Let's see if there'll be any triple support coming out from either team. Haven't been seeing that much. Seems like, um, what's it called? Nameless is going for triple support with the Brigitte, Moira, Lucio. Lucio might be just for speed boost, Alice spawn, and they might swap the Mercy or Zen. Freeman possibly is taking the Tracer. Oh no, he switches to Hanzo. Sticking with the same comp that's been working for them. Except with triple support now. Byron will does play Moira here instead of DPS, which he's been playing for the past two rounds. Let's see how that works Five, out. Four, three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. Identical comps from both teams. They're all they're both going up top. This is just a matter of who wins the shield battle once again. Hammy gets a big pick on the Brigitte, and then Infamous takes on the Rhine. This should be a win, a one fight for Z9. They'll get they'll get control of the point first, which is very big. It's very hard to get back control, especially through the choke points. On Nepal, especially. And Famous does have a shatter. There could be a stun shatter combo here. It's a this pretty big shatter. He gets down, he gets the Hanzo, and then the, the Brigitte falls right after. Moira dies once again, and then Z9 just taking these fights so flawlessly. I'm about to see what Nameless do, does to be able to counter this. Rays does have a shatter, so they could push in with that, possibly. They're going main instead of up top. They're going around the left to straight the point, making the making Z9 go to the point as well. Let's see if Rays uses a shatter here and gets anyone with it. He gets the Reinhardt with it. However, the Dragons do does come out from premium. There's no grab with it, so everyone's not grouped up. Right now, this fight is uh, being taken by Nameless. Hammy does take out Shorty Cod, though. And then Famous gets res back up. This is the equal fight. And Famous takes down Major Child. This big pick, and then Raze fall falls down right after. Z9 somehow turns this round after losing two picks. Ready. 
Premium brought up another Dragon Strike during that, and they have Grav. They have five ults on the side uh, now for with the Rally being used to get that extra 150 armor. Closer has to get Grav soon so he can turn this around and combo with Major Shadow possibly. But Premium Golden Panda can do the same thing. And here comes the Dragons out. The beat gets uh, used, but can't block all that damage coming from the whole team. And Z9 should be able to take this very cleanly. Our dominance performance from Z9. Same thing. Um. Nameless could possibly run the Drunk right here to win the Shield Battle, and then they could push with that very easily. But it seems like Mia Shadow will be going with Tracer, which is very odd, as the team will be clumped together, and Brigitte can potentially just kill Tracer in two hits. A premium does swap the Tracer as well. Mia Shadow then swaps the Pharah. Five, seems like a triple, four, triple tank, triple... Three, no, premium two, swaps back to Tracer. One, round two, capture. So it's going to be Pharah be Tracer. Mary Shadow doesn't have to worry about really anything in this watch there in the sky. Cream and flank around the side. Let's see who gets who wins the shield battle. Raze gets a famous in the well, that's huge. Cream has to fix up something real quick. No one's contesting the point right now. Mage Shadow can just fly in the air and not worry about anything. Can be free poke damage for the team. Mage Shadow does pick up a uh, kill on the Bridget. Prima can't really do much of anything as they're getting stunned all the time. Prima might want to swap to the Hanzo now to counter the Pharah. Prima does swap to the Hanzo to potentially kill the Pharah. Nameless does have control of the point, which is going to be very hard to take back uh, for, for Z9. Mage Shadow is close to a barrage. That can break their shit very fast and we kill all the teammates. Very strong ultimate if Pharah is kept alive, however. Mercy does fall and the bridge of falls as well. Both hogs die as well. Equal trade. Right now the fight is in the... Well, I was going to say the fight is in favor of Nameless, but they both trade again. And then, yeah, it's just clean up at this point. Supercharger gets used, and then the barrage falls with it. Premium still hasn't shut down Major Shout. Namus do does have the rally, but they're not using it right now for the free 150 armor. They will most likely use it while the fight is going on. Yeah. You're going to, through the bomb, uh, Z9 is going through the bomb. Infamous does have a shower and trying to look for something. Gets stunned, he gets the round. He uses a shower, he gets boot tower, but one gets, gets two down. And then Z9 gets control of the point. They brought this around, but Infamous gets boot However, Z9 has way, uh, his mate many more people on the point. My ultimate ability is ready. If Nameless just focused on his down premium, Major Shadow shouldn't have to worry about too much and then he could just wreck havoc on the point. Oh, there's also a lot of healing from Z9 with the triple support. Which is very strong. The dragons does come out. Doesn't pick up anything. Most likely for stunning. But then they kill Raze right away and the hog. Major Shot does pick up a kill on the Zen, but they can't really push him with that with both of their tanks being down. Z9 started a little shaky on this stage but has shown to bring it back very easily gets a big stagger on the mercy and a, and a kill on the pharah 
they have to reset. Nameless has to reset once again. Nameless does have six ults, so they could they could push in with most likely B, and then they don't have to use everything in this fight. They could just use three this fight and then save three for the next fight. They should be able to win this. Dragons do has come out, however, the barrage as well, the trance. However, Premium gets more of his ultimate than the barrage. The dragons actually killed Major Shadow during his ult. They could push him with this. There's only three supports. But Lucio does go into the point, however, he's Discord. He would be able to die very fast. Blackhawk does kill the Moira. And then Major Shadow comes back using Tracer. They could potentially try to flip this. However, there's a big shatter coming through for Infamous. And Z9 is going to win this. And they will win the series. Once again, Z9 showing their very dominant performance. Even being a little shaky at the start, they could bring it back very easily. Now I'll hand it over to our analysts to talk about the map. So I think first map there, Z9 played it perfectly. They completely destroyed Nameless. I, mean, I think Nameless should have run a Junkrat. Or even and just contest yeah. and build the Shield War because they've done losing the Shield War. And then my heart would just destroy them. I think on second point, they did a lot better there. They had the right comp point to that with the Arisa. But I feel like they're too split. They should have stayed more together. But the farmers keep the flanking, kept on dying. Or the Lucia, the flanking kept on dying. And I think that Z9 finally got their stuff together. I don't know why they played Ryan there. They should have played Arisa Hog, but I guess it still worked out in the end. Yep. And I believe that is it correct. Yep, that's the game. Z9 does win with a solid 3 0 dominant performance. Nimbus could barely touch them. But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the stream. Uh, thanks for our analyst Blades for analyzing each match and our uh, co uh, co caster more games. Thank you for watching.